welcome to this week's Varminators. We're here tonight. They've just cut this field of um, wheat, I think it is, behind us. Anyway, this full of Canadian geese. So we're here at last light, waiting for them to feed. And as soon as they get off, us, us, are going to get hopefully underneath them and see if we can knock some down just as they fly off. So it'll be a bit fast and furious when it does kick off, but we're hoping it's going to be a good bit of fun. Great excited. Just go and have a look over the edge and just see if we can see them in the field. There's loads of geese all feeding on the field next to the guys and everyone's eager to get stuck in, especially Chung. These guys have been watching this field now for three days, so they reckon they know exactly where they're going to come off as soon as it goes dark. So we're trusting them. We're lining out down this edge road by the looks of it. I'm going to get left behind and push on. As Wild gets into position, some geese are already in the air. Some more coming in. Don't let him go in. They should come high over the top of this. Unfortunately, they don't come in. They enter the field further down the pathway. Guys keep moving and Chunk plants them in positions across the hedgerow. Each man spread across the field should be able to cover plenty of ground if all 400 take off together. Some more coming from the islands. It should be quite exciting if we've got it right. The guys wait. Wait. and wait some more as the light begins to fade. Now although the geese can be heard, the skies remain clear. So Chunk formulates a plan. Because the flight is in down there, just going to move the guys down the line a bit and everything else. But can you imagine how many geese are that you can obviously hear and the few that they've seen, there's more join them are doing, they're grazing the corn, grazing the grass, grazing anything really, the damage that they'll do. This must be 500, 600 geese on there now, all hungry, filling the bellies before they go to roost back on the ponds. It'd be absolutely devastating to think that they were in your corn or whatever. So hopefully we'll get a few less in a minute or two. Chalk's back again and getting increasingly more excited. They're getting restless. Just this corner. Hey. This corner, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. It's hungry. It's corner through. The corners here. Yeah. The width is the radiant. Hey, Billy. He's organising his troops once again and repositioning oh, the boys. Wild is getting a little bit eager too. Still waiting. The noise is getting louder and louder. Won't be long before the flight in, I don't think. Hopefully. The skies are still empty for now. It sounds like it. The geese are honking up. They're making a bit of a noise now. Yeah, they're all... Which way are they going to go? They're all going out top end. Move down. It would appear that Chunk's master plan has fallen flat on its face. Wildy hasn't had a shot. The boys make a move down the field to get into position in the first corner they passed. There's geese in the skies and Big Steve is the first on the scene. Chuck fires off a series of shots and two geese drop from the scheme. Everyone's claiming they hit at least one. I got one but it's not quite the roar and success they had hoped for. Crosby! As they regroup and get their breath back, they recount the action. So it's low, in the wrong place. As soon as I heard of course, I ran like, there's a down here. How can you run down here, Lee? 
There'll be no more on now, will there? No. Oh God. It's in the wrong place. How did you get two? Yeah, I shot two. I dropped three. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> We said it'd be fast and furious, unfortunately, <laughs> we're in the, just in the wrong place. We're 50 yards too far now. But you can see there's a lot of geese on there. Hell of a lot. Yeah, the one it's not. Been. Yeah, there must have been yeah. five. Oh my God, I'd said more than that. The first the first lot that went off, there was loads, weren't there, Steve? Yeah. I'd have said there's 500 on there. We're just in the wrong place. We'll know for next time, you want to be up here. They come in at that end and come out at this. Yeah. Crop damage is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, crop damage is terrible. It is. No, anyway, right, best have a scout round and see if you can get these birds up there. There's one there. How many you get skinned? You've got a few. You've got three. I think I've got two. You've got two. I've got two. I've got the cover on. Fast and furious it was. It was all over so quickly. For a minute or two, the skies looked like the Battle of Britain, but when it's all over and the boys are out of breath, it's straight back to being the Battle of the Bold. As the light fades and the boys have a pick-up, there's only a few geese recovered, but it wasn't a total failure. Although we weren't in the right place, my God, it was exciting. We all rushed up there. We've, um... Steve, big Steve shot three, didn't you, mate? Yeah. I knocked two down, Chunk knocked two down. We've picked a few, but it's gone dark and it's gone wet and we were on a steep bank there. So um, old Chunk here says he's leaving till morning, he's gonna come up with the dog first thing and he's gonna have a scout down. A couple were hit hard and went backwards into the maze. Well, you're never gonna find them without a dog anyway, really. So we've not just on the head for tonight, but thanks again to Chunk and Steve for putting us on it. We've had a great exciting time. It's been brilliant, but you can see how many there was. You can see what damage they'd be doing. So you've got to keep on top of these things. Anyway, I'm getting soaked. So thanks, mate. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> thanks, buddy. There we go. I'm out of here. Another mm, mildly successful night for Team Wild Varminators. And so it's off to the pub. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.